morning learners. Today, the 12th day of May, we're going to look at uh, question tag. And question tag, we're going to look at question tag with our uh, current things, aspects that we need to look into very keenly. One being the issue of negativity and positivity of a sentence. Every sentence, like the one I'm going to give you as an example, he is late today. Our first example, Roman 1, he is late today. Look at this sentence. This sentence says to be in positive. What to make the sentence to be in positive? We are saying, he is late today. It doesn't entail the negativity. So the question that we are going to give must be in the negative part. So is in the negative part, we're going to use that auxiliary verb. One aspect that we need to look at, in case a sentence as, a, as an auxiliary verb like is here is an auxiliary verb, or a helping verb is. So that helping verb is changed into the negative part. Hence, our sentence question term will be, you put a comma, there's a formula, after the, after the main sentence, there's a comma, then the question term, followed by what? By a question mark. These are times to test it like, like that, that punctuation. There should be a comma, the question term, and then a question mark. So is, we tend to be isn't. So we talk of isn't. Isn't he? We use that pronoun given there. He is late today, isn't he? So the first aspect I was just mentioning, we need to change the auxiliary verb. If it is in the negative, in the positive like is, it changes to it should change to the to the, to the negative isn't. And then we should maintain the auxiliary the, the pronoun given there at the beginning. He he is late today, isn't he? Number two. You can be given one like they are. And see there they are they are coming with us they are coming with us a comma there should be a comma then a question mark at the end after the question mark. so they are we will realize that are here is our auxiliary verb and it is in the positive in the positive so our question tag is going to be in the negative part they are. Are in the negative becomes aren't. 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 They maintains the, 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 the pronoun even at the beginning. So we talk of aren't they. So much for that. Certain times we have sentences that look like this. That have, that sentences that have no, have no helping verbs. In that case, you can get one. Mother, mother comes home. Mother comes home late. And you're told to give a question, question time. So you realize this sentence here has no helping verb. So when there is no helping verb in a sentence in this, like in this example here, you realize that this is our verb. And it has no, no helping verb like is or are. So what do we do in that case? Lana, we need to use the correct form of the verb to be. The correct form of the verb to be. The verb to be takes, the verb to be will take, uh, will take do. Do in the negative part becomes don't. And then we have did. That becomes did, didn't, taken like that. And then we have da, do, does, I mean, we have does, that needs to be doesn't, doesn't. That is the verb to be. So in this case, we are seeing it is a present simple tense. When S is added to a verb like that, it entails it is in the present simple, meaning we are talking about one person. 
We're talking about mother only. There's no mothers. Because these mothers you could say mothers come home. We don't add the S. But because it's a singular, a singular noun, we are saying mother comes home late. Meaning we're going to look at the here where we are using the we're going to use does. So because it is comes, comes in the in the positive. So we have to put a question tag in the negative. So we'll talk of what? Doesn't. Our question tag will now come here. And we say, doesn't she? And a question mark will be at the end. Doesn't she? Mother comes home late. Doesn't she? Because of S, we're going to use doesn't. In case it was mother and father come home late, then you could have said, could have said, because there are many, meaning that is uh, third person, plural, uh, plural, we now talk of don't, don't they, because there are many people. Let me give another sentence that will now come to be did, in case talk about a past tense, like, uh, let me just give the exactly one, the one we have done, but in the past, mother, huh? mother came, mother came home, came home late. Mother came home late. We are seeing that sentence in the past. And once a sentence is in the past, we seem, we seem, there's, no, there's no helping verb but it's in the past. So we're going to use the same, same, same formula using the verb to be but in the past. For which now here we are going to use uh, didn't. Because we can't say did he, did she, because it is in the positive. So we use a the correct form of the word to be, but in the negative. So we'll take, we'll say, didn't, didn't she, that must talk of didn't she, didn't she. Mother came home late, didn't she? That is our question tag. Our next form, our example four, is going to be another aspect, example four or five, I mean, example five, is uh, when we are given an adverb of negativity in the sentence, like father, father, father rarely, father rarely goes, father rarely goes to work. Or father rarely come. Father rarely comes home. Very good sentence. We are seeing an adverb of negativity given here, rarely. So rarely makes a sentence to be negative automatically. Rarely means it comes not in many circumstances. Some of the negative uh, adverbs of, of negativity that just to mention but a few are uh, barely, no barely, rarely, scarcely, infrequently, we have uh, uh, once in a while, or even seldom. The entails a negative statement. If you just see them, they make a sentence to be negative. Father rarely comes. Father seldom comes home. Father comes home once in a while. Father barely comes home. When I meet such words, those adverbs of negativity, the ones I've mentioned, I don't write them here because you know them. Those adverbs of negativity make a sentence to be negative. Hence, when you are giving the question chart, we now use, here we are seeing comes, meaning there is no helping verb. So we're going to use the correct form of the verb to be by saying doesn't. But because it is in the negative already, the other part becomes do. We don't now put doesn't. Eh? And you say does. Does he? Does he? Does he? It's going to be our what? Our question tag. Father rarely comes home. Does he? Why that? It is in the positive because this side is in the, in the negative. Lana, I hope I've mentioned it very clearly about the adverbs of negativity. You can try one. Pupils 
Pupils, pupils hardly come to school. Pupils hardly come. Let me write it as number six. Pupils hardly, hardly come. Come late. We say come because pupils are many. So pupils hardly come, come to school late. You have seen the word hardly there? This sentence is said to be in the negative. Once it's in the negative because of hardly, and we are seeing there are many here. So we are going to use the same, same, same adverb of negative. We are going to use the correct form of the verb to be in that form. We are saying pupils hardly come. So because there are many, we are going to say do. It's negative. So this one might be in the positive. Stock of do, they. Do they is our question term. Do they? Pupils hardly come to school. People hardly come late. Talk of do they? This side is the negative, so this side must be in the word, in the positive part. Remember the correct form of the verb to be. Just to mention before I continue, that correct form of the verb to be, some may not get it very clear. I said when we are talking about first, first and second person, that is I. I, let me talk of persons. First person. First and second person. The talk of that I mean I. I mean we. I in the, in the singular in singular. We in plural part. And then we have you. You is the second person. And then we have third person plural. That is they. All these. All this will have to take, will have to take, uh, do. Do they, talk of do I, do we, do you, do they, and etc. That is in the, in, the post, in, the, in the positive part. In the negative part, they become, they become don't. Don't they, don't we, don't you, and etc. So when come, that is aspect one. Aspect two, you then talk of the third person. And third person here entails he, she, it, and somebody's name, maybe you're given Tom, as an example. So he, she, it, and, and Tom, that is third, third person. I have removed they, because they have been placed here. Third person, uh, plural, we will now take do. So all this, are the one that will take that will take does because talking about one person does she does he does it does he that is Tom and then in the negative part we start you will take doesn't doesn't he doesn't she etc and then in the past now all of them will change you talk of we ate mango yesterday. If they now, it will now take did. Did they? In the negative, drop off. Did. Did they? Did they? Maybe you talk about in the positive part. The negative part, drop off. Did. That is all of, all of them. Talk of he. He didn't. He, he ate mango yesterday. You talk of didn't he? All of them will now come to this aspect. All of them, both uh, both uh, our aspect one, first, second, and uh, first and second person, and third person will all apply this, but in the past. In the present, all of them will take the way I've explained there. So much for that. The last aspect that I want us to check that is uh, number Roman, Roman 6. Our Roman 6 will be when in case of a command in case of a command in case of a command you may get go home a very simple sentence go home so in this manner there's no helping verb and then it is a command so because who is who, who is talking who is talking maybe it is me telling you to go home so go home the question that will be, will you? 
Will you go home? Go home, will you? We may have others like uh, like we shall not do it. It is now not a command but like a sentence. We shall not do it. We shall not do it. We are saying not here, meaning this sentence is the negative. We shall not do it. The question that will be, shall we? Shall we? Because it's negative, fear becomes positive. Shall we? So these ones are examples of commands that they must just be like that. Just to give more examples, just to mention, in your book, oh, that is uh, English Aid, page 92, you can see an example given there. They have not finished their work. You can see have not. Have not, in short, is haven't. Haven't, in the, in the positive part, becomes have. And that is actually going to be our question time. So they have not finished their work, becomes have they. You just change that have not from the negative to the positive part, that is, have they? Uh, exercise 71, number one, we are being given, your school is far from mine. The verb is is used there, as I mentioned in my first example. Your school is far from mine. What do we say, Lana? We talk of isn't it. Because the verb is, is in the positive, it changes to, be, to go to the negative part. From is, we have isn't. Learner number two, they have nothing to do here. They have nothing to do here. We have seen the, word, the verb have has been given there, the, verb, the helping verb have. It changes to, they have nothing to do. Because of nothing, that sentence is now in the negative. They have nothing to do here. What do we give as our question term? They have nothing to do here. And because there are many, we talk of, have they, not haven't they, because nothing there makes something, our uh, sentence to be negative. So we talk of, have they. The second aspect, apart from that, there is, there is more work there you do under that, that is exercise 71. There is more work you do under that, under that, then uh, exercise 72. I've also been told to add question terms, and number one, just do, do, do number one, two, and three, then the rest you are able to handle. He finished his work after coming from school. He finished his work. We are seeing a past tense given there. So I mentioned about the issue of tense. He finished his work after coming from school. So what do we give as a question term there? He finished his work after coming from school. Didn't. So it is not it is not rather as it is written as didn't but rather as didn't didn't he? We see a question that uh, past tense. He finished his work after coming from school. We talk of didn't he? Number two, the farmer did not want to sell his car. Did not. That is a, 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 a negative. The farmer did not want. So we talk of did did he? We are assuming the farmer is a he or a she. Did she or did he? It did not rain at all yesterday. It did not. The word, the word not there tells us that it is negative. So what, what is the question term? Did it? It did not rain at all yesterday. Did it? Becomes our question term. And etc. Then the last, we are going to do that rather part that is remaining down there under exercise 72. Then lastly, exercise 73, we are saying, we are saying, uh, number one, Abdul will not arrive on time. Abdul will not arrive on time. What do we give as a question tag there, Lana? Abdul will not. We are saying the word will not there. Will not. So you can't say, won't he? Because it's the negative. Before we say, will he? Because it is in the well, in negative, so the question that must be in the positive part. Will he? You will help me in clearing this garden. You will help me in clearing this garden. So you say, won't you? 
will will change with the post uh, in the in, in the positive part to be on you. The mother will come tomorrow. The mother will come tomorrow. What do we say? We are saying it is also in the positive. The mother will come tomorrow. The mother will come tomorrow. Won't she? Becomes our question card there. We just change will, won't. Lana, I think I'm done with whatever I wanted to give. Hence, the remaining part there of whatever I've not done will be our, home, uh, will be our, our work. The first exercise is exercise 71, that is page uh, 92. So we can try from number 3 up to number 15. Because I'm seeing there are a lot, so you can uh, at least. Sorry. Uh, then we can continue with the exercise 72. So you can do from number 3. Number 3 to 15. And lastly, exercise 73. 73. It's a short exercise. That the last one is a bit short. So we can do from number also number 3 to 15. Lana, this is our work. Take it serious. Do it thoroughly, and then, as I said, mention the uh, by the end of our last lesson. You can uh, take a snap of your of your work and then post it on the wall, so that from there I'll be able to mark it very very fast and uh, give you back your work. Thank you and God bless you.